Hello everybody, this is Driven by Diamond coming at you today with a nice little tidbit of Space Engineers. Today I have for you my Orbital Bombardment Cannon Satellite. This baby features four Max or Magnetic Acceleration Cannons, capable of obliterating targets at up to 80 kilometers or 80,000 meters. The projectiles travel at approximately 1,500 meters per second, so at its maximum range it will take 53.3 seconds to reach its target and wipe it off the face of the universe. On the outside it also has atmospheric thrusters in case you do go too far into the planet's atmosphere, they will prevent you from burning up into a fiery ball of explodingness. It also has a whole lot of thrusters, so you can maneuver it around the planet's orbit. It has multiple solar panels to keep you charged in case your uranium runs out. On the inside, it has a nice little hangar for you to dock your shuttle. The original intent was to have the whole hangar pressurized, however, I don't think the Max are airtight, which is why that didn't work out. So, in lieu of that, it has two cockpits hooked up to the oxygen system, as well as a med bay also hooked up to the oxygen system to keep you and any crewmates alive and breathing. Now the cockpit is in a slightly awkward position, but that is only so that it lines up perfectly with the camera on the front of it. And it keeps your crosshairs in the center to make aiming easier. So let's check that out. Now all you have to do is press 2 and it will bring up your targeting camera. You can also adjust your gyroscopes to allow for more precise aiming. Or increase them if you need to move your camera faster. Now when you're ready to fire your enemy, you press 1 and it will launch the 4 projectiles. Now if you want to know how long it's going to take for them to impact the target, take the distance in meters and divide it by 1500. Pretty simple math. Now, if you want to remote control it, it features an antenna for conventional control up to 50 kilometers. And on the front, it features two laser antennas in case you want to control it past 50 kilometers. Although the range is only 80 kilometers, so not really much use, but meh, looks cool. So, now that you've had a nice little tour, time to show you what this baby can do. So here we are on our little Earth colony, and, but we have a bit of a problem. We are under constant attack by these space pirate drones coming from their ore handling facility. So what are we going to do? We're going to take these little bastards out of the source. How are we going to do it? Well, we're going to call in some fire support from our orbital cannon. So, let's get on the horn and call them in. And we're going to find their facility. Halo away. Now let's watch the destruction. And there we go. They are gone. Now, as you can see, there is almost nothing left of their base except for this little supporting column and a few pieces of conveyor tubing. Now, what is awesome is that it only destroys the cargo containers, but not their contents. So, once you blow their base off the face of the planet, you can come in here and just take all the loot for yourself. 
perfect. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The orbital bombardment cannon capable of wiping any enemy off the face of the planet from up to 80 kilometers away. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.